where do I put? Oh, there it is. Here we go. What's going on guys? Fico here. Welcome to another installment of Fico's Gaming Mind. And I'm sorry that I haven't been posting, but I have a couple of videos that are going to be posting a little later uh, throughout the week. But uh, I have to do this one first, because this one regards Super Smash Bros. Nintendo Direct uh, that was done just a few, just a little bit, released a platitude of stuff that we kind of sort of already knew, but stuff that we didn't know, revealing a couple of characters that are coming, a couple of things like the online play, a couple of things that are also happening on the 3DS version. Overall, just a whole bunch of bags of goodies and goodness, and at the end of this, I'm going to also give my impressions as to what I think about Super Smash Brothers and whether or not this will be the savior of the Wii U. And we'll get to that momentarily. But first, the major thing that they announced was the release dates. And the release dates for both of these games have not been set officially in, sto in stone. But uh, they said that the 3DS version of Super Smash Bros. is going to be released on summer. And the Wii U version is going to be released in the winter. Which is great, because that means we get two Super Smash Bros. games this year. Now, the Wii U and the 3DS versions are gonna have different stages, and they're also gonna have modes. One is gonna have modes exclusively that the other one won't, but mostly the entire cast is going to be available, and it's going to be fully online playable as well. And it kind of is weird, it's kind of weird because they're making these two games, and they're both being done at the same time uh, so why if all the stuff that is in one and on the other coming out both at the same time and then they're instead they're just getting separated I have a theory or theory on that but I'll get one to that one later now the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is that uh, the online play uh, what they're doing is it's, it's gonna include um, not just friends or exchange with friend codes. You can actually play with everyone. So this does get a legit online mode and it's also got for fun and for glory, which basically is for fun, which you can play with all the items at any stage with uh, anybody really and set your own rules and it'll be fun. And for glory is Final destination, no items. So you could be playing like you all playing Evo, baby. I think Master Shiro Sakurai noticed the popularity of Millie when it went to Evo, and all of a sudden it was like, you know what? And it's coming back to Evo again uh, because of its popularity and uh, and Project M. I think that was the the thing that they were doing with with Evo with that enhanced mod for it, and. That is good for rank play, and the reason, and the ranking system is also called Global Smash Power, which basically throughout the accumulative points from what you've done, and I think rank play also affects what you do. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably not, but uh, it says it's, it's kind of like how your score kind of stacks, and the score is basically how high you are. So if you have a Global Smash Power of uh, say 400,000 then you are the 400,000 Super Smash Brothers player on the top of the entire list so the higher or the lower you get on that I think it's the higher you are on that list and you could also expect some good uh, stuff in terms of abuse because they're saying that uh, Masahiro Sakurai said that if you had um, uh, lots of deaths if you dropped out of the game you had abusive language you could actually report players you can end yourself getting yourself temporarily um, stuff like you know if you don't play if you drop or if you're caught cheating you could get uh, pretty much banned temporarily now there's not a he didn't mention like a permanent ban but getting banned multiple times might actually get you banned for longer periods of time that's also pretty cool 
Now, in terms of a stages, there are pretty cool, interesting stages throughout the game. Um, a couple of stages that are like arena-based games, like multiple level games, uh, paying homage to the uh, the castle stages that have they're so big, and there's a lot of returning stages as well, and there are a lot of good returning ones also for the 3DS version. I'm, I'm really thrilled the 3ds version i'm definitely gonna get it in summer for sure on release day because i'm a i'm a fan of smash brothers and i've got my 3ds and that's a long-term investment that i made on it i i upgraded the sd card on it so i want to put in my games there as well but the characters the characters that are returning are um well three of them aren't even really new uh and what masuyo sakurai explained was that characters with split form Forms, they don't have their split forms anymore. So basically, Samus uh, or you know, Samus Aran, no longer when she uses her smash, uh, breaks her armor and turns into Zero Suit Samus. Zero Suit Samus is now her own character, and Zero Suit Samus has a more emphasis on like kick style moves. She's been kind of sort of redone, and she looks pretty awesome. And the same goes for Sheik, which is the alternate form of Princess Zelda, and she's got a couple of interesting cool moves there as well and she's kind of just sort of been given a little bit more work on these and Yoshi is back as well he's been confirmed as another returning character and Matsuhiro kind of made it a deal that he's not longer hunched but he's sort of like standing upright so that they could just update him to look more like the Yoshi that he has been in the past couple of games. Now the two characters that they did mention as fully new revealed and completely not ever been in any of the Smash Brothers games. One of them is Charizard from the Pokemon games and the Pokemon TV show. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Charizard was playable at one point and he was one of the three Pokemon from the Pokemon trainer from uh, Brawl. Correct me if I'm wrong, but hey, why not let him have his own character and they didn't show too much of him in comparison to the other character, but I do know that he has a mega evolution. They showed Lucario as an updated version of Lucario, and he also has a mega evolution. And Genji, Geninja, uh, whoa, wait a minute, Ninja, <laughs> Greninja. I have never heard of this Pokemon before, but he's sort of like this amphibious frog, um, ninja style character, and he is a balls to the wall awesome. He sort of kind of crosses between uh, Sheik. Lucario and he's just like very very quick he's kind of sort of got this Fox McCloud quickness going to it and I really like that new character and I don't know if he has a mega evolution but super stoked I mean along with the other one they showed uh, highlighted uh, the moves for Little Mac for Mega Man for Rosalina and Luma for the Wii Fit trainer and for the villager they focused on all of those and they gave us a little bit more of a of a look as towards what they could do how their move set was how they were strong in certain areas and weak in others and I really did like that Masahiro Sakurai focused on things like say for example Little Mac he's very powerful and strong and then he has a little bot of meter at the bottom of the top of his life bar or his percentage bar and he could build up to her attacks but he tells you oh he may be all powerful but he's weak in the air he also has a bad recovery game if you we're uh, trying to ring them out so it's good to see that not all the characters are sort of like OP you can exploit their weaknesses which means putting weaknesses on the characters makes it a lot more fun he's also uh, focused on a couple of others like how uh, Captain Olimar has three po uh, three Pikmin now that he could take out at a time and make him easier to maneuver and uh, Sonic has new moves and it's and also, also, I think they said something about how in solo play, you can also select different move sets, or when you're playing locally. So characters have different uh, moves that have alternate effects. And also, there's this thing called Smash Run on the exclusive on the 3DS version of the game, where you can play in this huge arena-ish, dungeon-ish zone, a la Subspace Emissary, where you're taking against random enemies from multiple games, including Subspace Emissary, or I think Subspace Emissary Substitutes, but there's so many enemy variants. 
And basically, you have a couple of minutes to run around and explore and investigate throughout these locations, and you get a bunch of power-ups like stronger like item effects or health or defense. Uh, different or speed different things and basically from there you build your character up to the point where at the very end you're taken against other players or other characters um, I think computer controlled I think he mentioned that it was random so basically you could get an assortment of computer generated characters or how it was with your um, with other players which I think Master here also said that they were gonna all be also implementing your identity through Nintendo ID which no longer is like a name which you actually be you feel like you're playing against other people because in distinct kind of sort of indistinguishable when you're playing uh, online on the Wii, on the Nintendo uh, Wi-Fi connection and not because you could just put names on them and well that's kind of sort of how it is and well at the end of at the very end of it I was very excited I was very excited because I'm a fan of Smash I'm a fan of Nintendo as well and I've kind of sort of dogged on Nintendo for a bit and I've also did a video that I've never actually publicized about what I thought whether Nintendo's this big game that's coming this year is going to save Nintendo because as many of you know Nintendo's not doing so good and I think that's the reason why the winter version is of uh, the Wii U version is coming out in winter. Matsuhiro Sakurai wants this game to be as perfect as possible and I think that this game might actually end up being the Super Smash Brothers game that's going to definitely wow us the way that Millie did. Now, whether it's going to save the Wii U, I actually, uh, back uh, some time ago, I thought it wasn't. Because in spite of it's one game, it's only one game, and this game has got to really push units. But now, with the Wii U version of it coming out in winter, which I'm betting it's going to be around the Christmas time, I am uh, excited that uh, this could actually get Nintendo a good amount of Wii U sales. And I hope that they also make Wii U bundles, because I will buy a Wii U bundled with Super Smash Bros. You can count me and I'll be there on release day, pre-ordered, boom definitely get it now I said if you get it a, a bigger hard drive I could totally that'd be a even better sale for me but you know what if you don't um, I don't know if the Wii U gives you the ability to put expanded uh, uh, storage I also saw that they added a Wii LAN uh, connector on it so that uh, a Wii U LAN connection so you, you have an Ethernet port now that you could plug in to give it a, a stronger connection which I think it was kind of stupid that it wasn't built in with it but you know what whatever it's been fixed you have an ethernet connection now I don't know if it's gonna be included I don't know if it's separate but hey whatever I I like that Nintendo is not going oh I'm sure it'll be okay they're going and they're fixing it because they're aware that not every connection uses just exclusive Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi also doesn't have as much strength as it is as it does as a local Ethernet connection plugged into the device now I thought before that it wasn't but I think that Nintendo could actually benefit from this they have to push this they have to also push that the Wii U is a completely different beast and that you're not getting the same experience you're getting a better Super Smash Brothers experience you're getting a better looking one you're getting a better functioning one you're getting online you're getting new characters you're getting a whole bunch of incentives to come back into this game and you have to push that Nintendo. If you do this, like, like you just did with the Nintendo Direct, you got you weren't wasting time talking slowly and and doing this, you know. In fact, I'm sorry. It's kind of funny because Master Hero was sort of like, mm, <laughs> like make, my, poking fun of his boss. I think they're also they're all kind of really tight with each other. I kind of find it also fascinating that he's also uh, working at Namco to make this game as good as it could be. And I think that is super awesome. And I'm very excited about this news. And, you know, not as pessimistic as I was before. I'm thinking this is probably going to do really, really good. It's up to Nintendo now to make sure that they push this game. And they're definitely making uh, a strides. I mean, like I said, the Nintendo Direct. I'm sure there's going to be more news upcoming. The hype is happening. And it's going to keep coming, and I hope that it continues. Really, it's... There's no... no. I'm excited. 
So I'm gonna leave the link down below for the uh, for the YouTube link to take you to the Nintendo Direct that occurred. The one it's a, it's a bit long, but uh, you it's very informative and it. Tell, gives you a lot of a couple of technical stats as well like frame rates how it's gonna work and stuff I want you guys to leave me your opinions I want you guys to tell me what you guys thought about the Nintendo Direct about the new stuff that they announced for Super Smash Brothers and whether you are excited about the game or not would you think it's not gonna get you excited for uh, for it when it released let me know down below and if you like this video give it a like and subscribe if you want and as always Thank you so much for watching. I apologize once again for not having videos for you. But like I said, this video is going to be accompanied with a couple of older videos that I meant to post. They're already done. I'm going to get them uploaded. But I want to get this one first done for you guys because uh, just wanted to let you know what I think. What I think about Super Smash Brothers by Nintendo. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> my name is Pico and this was my gaming mind. Peace out, everybody.